Hey friends, this is Poetic playing Rainbow Six Extraction. Tips for Beginners Part 2. Solo setup versus playing with a group setup. There are three different scenarios you will find yourself playing in in this game. One is uh, playing with randoms, people you don't know. Doing solo incursions and playing with people who you do know or are experienced prestige players. The only difference uh, for the gear setup that I've found, uh, and I've leveled all of my operators to level 10 or higher, uh, completed the platinum, done, I don't know, how many, almost a thousand objectives in the game. There is one thing I changed between playing with playing solo or with uh, those two groups of people, strangers or people I trust. My primary setup is the same. My secondary is the same with the suppressor. My explosive stays the same with the aura grenade. The only thing I will change is between two pieces of gear. If I'm playing solo, I use this XR Recon Drone, which is available at React level 12 which unlocks tech tier 3, costs one token to buy. If I'm playing with people I know and or experienced prestige players who I trust, I'll take a revive kit. Now, a, a really important thing about the revive kit that new players don't know because the game never says it. The only evidence of it is here in the description in the second paragraph. Always fall to DBNO, down but not out, while revive kit is equipped that means as long as you have a revive kit on your person and haven't used it because you only get one as long as it's in your possession you will never go into immediate knockout so it's actually more important to have this in your possession than to use it when you're playing with a team of people the reason why is Say you're on a difficult incursion and, you know, you go down or somebody else goes down and somebody else is coming to revive you, but they're having to fight through numerous enemies to reach your position or you're fighting through numerous enemies to reach their location. As long as that player has a revive kit on them, they will have a bleed out timer, which gives you time to get to them. They do not immediately fall into a KO or knockout state. Uh, the, the, once you use this revive kit, you cannot get another one for the length of the incursion. And after you use it, unless you get armor from, uh, someone playing Rook, which not that many people play Rook, and the people who do don't always put down the armor kit, or it's not convenient to get to the armor kit. After you use your revive kit, you get knocked out the next time you go down, which is, is absolutely horrible. Uh, it really affects the team. So when playing with people I trust or prestige players, we're usually playing on severe or critical difficulty. Having a revive kit uh, allows each of us to um, fall into a down but not out state when we go down instead of immediately entering KO or knockout state and having the stasis foam activate. But if I'm playing solo, or with low-level randoms, people I don't trust, I'll take the XR Recon Drone. Knowledge, tactical knowledge is power in this game. And having a Recon Drone... <coughs> excuse me. Would do more to ensure your survival than the Revive Kit. 